channel i know i know it has been months it has been months <coughs> say hello <laughs> what's up with your hair bud <coughs> yeah here's levi he's a big dumb sucker <coughs> and you know what i keep trying to do this video coming back and i've made it a couple of times but it just wasn't right. No, so, right. hey, come on, be nice. <laughs> and the kids weren't see, there with see, me. Lorelai. So I figured, yeah. let's give it another go. Try again. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. For my new subscribers, hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Hello. Um, you know, let's just get into this. This video is me just reasoning with you guys and letting you know. Okay, hold on. Letting you guys know why I've been gone for so long. What I've been going through. There is a reason. You know I'm not wearing makeup. Sorry. But, you know, whatever. I, You guys say, some of you say you like me because I keep it real. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not wearing no makeup. But, um, yeah. So there has been a reason why I have been gone. And I'm in the middle of cleaning my house. So, you know, perfect time to vlog, right? Mom, can we break the half of it? Why? Because this is broken. Mommy, Lorelai. I picked that by a video. I'm going to have to finish this video when I'm not around kids. And it's I'm like I'm doing like a 180. Going phone. back to how I started. I like doing animals that you fall on. Huh. Ratchet. And Thomas and I are going to a party tonight. It's across the street from us. One of our friends is having his birthday party tonight. So Thomas's parents, oh I don't look good. I'm sorry guys. I've been cleaning the house. I don't know what this is. It's my first video back. I'm gonna get like 50 unsubscribers. Unsubscribers? <laughs> That's funny. Um, but you know, yeah. Um, so Thomas's parents are coming over. They're gonna sit with the kids, and we're gonna go across the street and party. But I don't drink or do anything like that. So I'm just gonna go and probably say hi to people, and then come home and go to bed with the kids because that's how lame I am. I'm 26 years old, and I don't really do parties. I'm sure I would if I didn't have kids, but the last time I drank it was 2010. I threw up in my purse, and that was. That was the last time that I drank. Uh. <laughs> Hi. We going bye bye real quick? Uh, uh. Um, so let me level with you guys. I've been gone for four months or so. Been dealing with some stuff in my innards. Um, more specific. I've been having, I'm diagnosed with, um, you guys know I have including spondylitis and that lovely autoimmune disease went ahead and gave me rheumatoid arthritis, de degenerative disc disease, fibro, and Crohn's. Mentally, on the mental side, um, I have panic disorder. So, for the past four months, I've been just dealing with panic attacks really, 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 really bad. More so than they usually are. I'm talking like every day I've been having panic attacks. And um, a reason for that might be because I'm, I'm coming off of medications that I've been on for years and years because of the AS for pain and whatnot. My choice to come off these medications but it's just been fucking with my psyche and my mind and I'm looking now into other avenues to come off of the pain medication but I just I just don't want to be sorry I'm cleaning up I just don't want to be 26 and 
you know, on these crazy medications while I'm so young. And, you know, my kids need me, which I'm not saying it, they do anything to my parenting, but I just don't want to rely on that. And, and I, I don't know, but it's, it's just been messing with my panic attacks and, you know, memento. If anybody has any tips on how to come off of specifically opioid medications and they're not I'm not taking like 20 a day you know I'm, I'm prescribed three a day one for the morning one for the afternoon one for nighttime I've been on them for a very very long time so they don't do anything to me you know mentally I don't get high off of them or anything like that but you know if you're on and dependent on something like that for so long trying to come off of it is going to be a challenge but that's what I'm dealing with and I miss you guys so so much everything else in my life is perfect I'm working a lot with the kids Thomas and I are great um, I'm not with another woman at the moment just Thomas uh, my ex-girlfriend and I are really really good good friends and she's a sweetheart I love her to death where everything's good I just have been dealing with that and if you guys you know some people would say that the mental aspect of things is the hardest aspect of things dealing with the mental health I want to get more into mental health and because boy if I'm going through panic attacks I can't even imagine all of the other things people can go through mentally like what if you're paranoid or schizophrenic or it's just that's crazy that's crazy I can't even imagine that um, having to deal with that like on a daily basis but I'm rambling okay that's my update with my life if any of you guys have any questions please comment them down below you guys know I always answer and I want to vlog at least once a week. I know I've been slacking, but now that you guys kind of know that I'm going to have off days and whatnot, I feel like it would be easier now to pick up the camera and vlog, even if I'm not bubbly and happy and crazy all the time. I want to do more fun things on my channel. I really do, because I get messages every day from you guys saying that you miss me and it warms my heart because I miss you guys too so much. So let me try to get back into this YouTube thing. Love you guys.